you know, just having the fans. It's, it's basically a home game for us. You know, I know our fans are going to travel, and you know, we had a Charlotte game earlier in the season in, oh, against Oklahoma, and it was it was a home game basically. I mean, it wasn't really I don't know how they call it a neutral side game. It was all blue and all Carolina blue, and our fans travel and we're ready to go. Harrison, you were mentioning to Andrew, what, talking to your dad a little bit, maybe a conversation, what he said, this is why you came here. Is that, was that like a phone call or face to face? In general, I mean, that's okay. what we talked about. I, mean, like, I didn't know if this was recently, is what I'm saying. I mean, it was, it's kind of just the bigger games that, you, that I didn't get at the um, you, you don't get really anywhere else besides North Carolina. The Duke game, the Duke game, the NC State game. I mean, playing in front of 22,000 fans every single night at the. Dean Smith Arena, and now here in Charlotte as a one seed with our fans coming down, um, my parents coming down, I got friends coming, brother and sister, I mean, people all over coming, and, you know, playing, playing March Madness is everybody's dream, and I'm here right now, and just telling me to don't put too much pressure on yourself, you know, don't worry about missed shots, win and loss, I mean, just have fun, and everything else will work out. So that message hasn't changed, I didn't know if it was like two days ago, you know, like, yeah, we're getting ready to go to Charlotte, and he was saying, like, this is why you came, I didn't no. know, that's just what he's been saying the whole, it's kind of the whole time, I mean, I definitely a little bit more of an emphasis, you know, for the March Madness, but you kind of worry about that. Harrison, staying on that, when you came to North Carolina, decided to come. Generally speaking, like Brady a couple years ago, Brady Mannix, well, I, they're a tournament team every year. I want to play in the tournament. I want to get to the second weekend. But they were coming off a year where they didn't make it. So how much of your thought process went into maybe this place isn't what it was because this club didn't achieve what maybe they should have achieved this past year. So was how much did that go into your thinking about how maybe North Carolina wasn't any longer what North Carolina was? I definitely didn't think that. I mean, I had seen they just got on the Final Four run and you know, every team has their, their ups and downs. And <clears throat> for a down year for North Carolina to be a 20 and 13, I mean, that's pretty. Yeah. Most teams, I mean, most coaches are 20 and 13 every year. They have their job, they get millions of dollars. You know what I mean? But North Carolina, the standard is just so high that, you know, that's the reason I want to come here. It's the standard tie. I mean, the, the regular season championship is not enough. Yeah. Winning a game is not enough. Winning two games is not enough. I mean, the, the, the standard's high, and that's why I came here. I, I asked that because of the noise. Right. The noise last year. And you strike me as a guy who's pretty tunnel vision. You can deflect the noise pretty well, or certainly process. I don't even see the noise. I don't even have Twitter anymore. I just, I'm, I don't so when you arrived, and I knew you guys have all talked about the chemistry right away and having a mission right away. Right. How much of the mission do you think was infused by guys like you and Cormac desperately wanting to have that experience combined with RJ and Armando wanting to get back to that experience? I think, yeah, I mean, definitely between me and Cormac, RJ, uh, Armando established the, the culture here. But I think as a whole, I mean, I think everybody clicked right away and everybody just so competitive that, you know, from the first pickup game, whenever we had all players, we're getting into it. We didn't even know each other yet. We're getting into it, you know. It's getting chippy. It's getting physical. And, you know, from that moment on, I knew these guys wanted to win. These guys want to win as, much, as hard as I do. So, you know, at the end of the day, no matter what happens, um, you know, I want to win. Cormac said last night you guys watched, I guess it was the first half of the – Howard Wagner game on the bus and made the right. second half of the hotel. First, first. Can, can, you, can you set the scene, like how you guys were watching that and how many TVs there were? And TV, everyone how are you processing? Are you taking notes, yeah. mental notes? How are you going through that? I mean, I, at first, I, I didn't take any mental notes. I mean, there's a TV for each person in front of like a, like a whole bus TVs and everything on the same one. And I didn't want to take any mental notes. I, I'd never seen either team, either team play, so I just wanted to see, get What's a feel. Like? What's that like? I mean, it, it's, it's, a, it's a whole different experience knowing that whichever team – we, whichever team wins this game is standing between, between us and, you know, the round of, what, 32 it would be. And, you and know. you're about to play, the, for you personally, you're about to play the most important game of your life. Right. And you're watching these two teams that you've never seen before. Right. What's it like? I mean, it, it's, it's, it's exhilarating. I mean, it's, it's cool to see those teams and, and knowing that whichever team we play, you know, they, they got to come see us too and they got to see us in Charlotte with all our fans. I wanted to ask you real quick what you were telling me in D.C. the other night after the state game where right. you – sort of t blaming yourself and right. saying I didn't bring the energy right. like have you had some sort of you know conversation with yourself like the energy I'm bringing the energy from here I'm bringing it no matter what I don't care how I feel what was going on that's, that's ankles hurting right. who cares I mean it's, I'm bringing the energy because you never know especially in the tournament I mean now it's winter go, winter go home I mean you lose you're out so I don't want to be I don't want to have any game any half any any moment any second any minute taking it for granted I mean, you sound like you were kind of disgusted with yourself. Yeah. I mean, I was just, I don't like losing. And I feel like, you know, we were all disgusted with ourselves because we yeah. lost a game that we thought we should have won. I mean, we had beaten them two times before pretty handily. And, um, you know, they had, a, they had a really good run. They beat a lot of good teams and they were playing well. But Y'all were fine. Was, they told me 